Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice little piece that we're going to try to redo. So follow along. All right, so this piece has got quite a bit of problems with it, <laughs> and we're gonna have some fun with it today. We're gonna try to save it and put it back to bring it back to life, basically. So you can kind of see in the picture here, we got some damage here on the drawers. All the drawers seem to open and close nicely, and I kind of like these this design here, these smaller drawers here, and well, the lock system here. I don't have the key, but it's still gonna be a pretty cool piece. The top is a veneer. And it's, well, it's all peeled up and missing in some spots, not savable. So what we're going to try to do is chisel off the veneer, get down to the bare wood here, and see if we can save it. Maybe we'll paint it. Maybe we can try to stain it. We'll find out. So let's do a run through nice close with the camera so you can kind of see what we're working with to start with. And then the first step is we're going to remove these drawers and look at the subframe. And then we can start chiseling off the top here. So let's get started. Alright, so two of the drawers have some little chips in it and what we're going to do is use our wood putty to fill those in so we can have a nice uh, spot here to sand off of and create that, uh, fill in that void basically since these are going to have to get painted. So what we're going to use is some of our wood filler. I got a glove and well I got a tool to pop the top. We're going to smoosh it in there, get it nice and tight in there and we're going to not try to make it smooth to start with, we're just going to come out over it and then we can sand it down and make it smooth at that point. We just want to make sure that we get it far enough out that we can sand it down. If we just try to fill that hole to make it look smooth right off the bat, you could get have a little bit of an indention, things like that. It's just easier, well, if you have sandpaper, to just get more on there, let it dry and then sand it smooth, create the lines, perfect lines that you need. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, this isn't going to be a fun project nor easy project trying to remove this, but we've got a nice wide uh, chisel and we've got a narrow one here. So our focus is going to be on this one mostly so we can try to get underneath of it and create the biggest amount of space. The smaller one, sometimes we can dig in, create divots in this, things like that. It's just going to cause more work down the line. So. We're going to use this as just an accessory tool, but we're going to try to focus on this one over here and try to get most of this off as much as possible. So let's begin. We got it all chiseled off, was not a fun project. So make sure you have a sharp chisel, big wide uh, two inch, three inch, whatever you can get to get to it. Now we did get a couple deep spots here that we're gonna have to sand out and work with, but well, we'll do our best. We'll have to fill maybe a couple more of these in and we'll just keep processing from there. So let's get started.
been sanded, it has been wiped down, vacuumed out, and it's ready to be painted. And today, what we're gonna use is our bare prime and paint. Uh, it's black eggshell uh, is the uh, finish on it. So, two coats on the frame, two coats on the drawers and the knobs, and then we'll give it a nice little scuff on that. So, let's get started painting this piece. Got it painted twice. Now what we're going to do is scuff this piece up, part of the Vintage Statements way. Now, if you like the solid black, well, you could stop here, start putting the hardware on it and finalizing the piece. But we've got a step here ahead of us, and that's to do a little scuff sanding. So we're going to do the edges, just kind of go over the piece, give it a little vintage look. We're going to use our old 80 grit sandpaper that we used to sand the piece down. So let's get started. Here it is completed, sanded down. We removed the veneer top, which was quite the time consumer and pretty tough to do. So make sure you get some sharp chisels if you want to take on that part of it. Sanded it down, painted it black twice. Then we scuffed it up to give it this vintage look. And well, I think the end result is pretty amazing. So if you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram. And well, hopefully uh, some of the things that I did here will help you in your project.